One of the first places that children encounter symmetry and structure is in books. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carl is a great example of this. And I want to take the symmetry and structure out of this book and show it to you. First of all, each animal that you encounter in this book is associated with one adjective, a color. So you will have a red bird, you'll have a yellow duck, you will have a blue horse. There's symmetry there. All animals associated with one color. Each time you turn a page, you're also introduced to a new animal. So there's symmetry there. The brown bear introduces you to the red bird, who introduces you to the yellow duck, etc., etc. What a beautiful amount of symmetry in one book. And this is typical of a lot of children's books. I like to make sure that the children see all of the symmetry, uh, so I unpack it. I don't do this for all books. Some books uh, I've got a more of a storyline which is less obvious to unpack. My homage to these two guys is to create my own version of Brown Bear, Brown Bear with a little twist. Ankylosaur, Ankylosaur, what do you see? I see a fell pot. Looking at me, fell pot, fell pot. What do you see? I see a Ceratopsin looking at me. Ceratopsin, Ceratopsin, what do you see? I see what? A sauropod. A sauropod looking at me. Sauropod, sauropod, what do you see? What? Pterosaur looking at me. Pterosaur, pterosaur, what do you see? I see a fo uh, ankylosaur looking at me. Ankylosaur, ankylosaur, what do you see? I see a fell pot looking at me. Fell pot, fell pot. So that's the twist. These five dinosaurs keep seeing each other. And they go round and round and round, and that's the pattern. And I love seeing children's faces whenever they realize this won't ever have an end. <laughs> Enjoy.